Golden State Warriors fans, I have great news. Despite Steph Curry sitting out last night's game against the Minnesota Timberwolves, despite Draymond Green choking out Rudy Gobert like he's auditioning for the WWE, despite losing to the Timberwolves in a very close game, there is light at the end of the tunnel because you guys have nailed this year's draft. And I absolutely love the young man that you guys took in the first round with the 19th pick. Now at 19th, I mean Cam Whitmore was still available, Julian Strother was still available, Ben Shepard, Nick Smith, Marcus Sasser was still available, but you guys decided to go with Brandon Podzimski. And I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correct, but this brother is a hooper. And he may quite literally fix every problem you have with this team. But before we get to that, welcome back to another video here with your boy, NBA Addict TV, where we provide the littest NBA content on the tube. Before we get started, you know to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to turn on post notifications to not miss a single video. Let's get straight to it, man. Prior to tonight's game, the Golden State Warriors only had one other player besides Stephen Curry to score scored more than 20 points this year. See, that is crazy to me, considering you have Klay Thompson on your team, and the guy's taking about seven threes a game. Even though Klay is averaging his lowest points per game since his second year in the league, 20 points should be easy for Klay, even at this point in his career. And even Andrew Wiggins, the guy that helped you guys get a chip, I mean, his last good game was a loss against the Cavs, where he scored 13 points, five rebounds, three assists, on 50% from the field, and 25% from three. I mean, Wiggs, the stinkers gotta end sometime, baby! Shout out to Chris Paul for taking a lot of these young guys under his wing and his mentorship, but if the Golden State Warriors want to capitalize on this championship window, or what they think is a championship window, they need to find a scoring punch outside of Steph Curry, and ladies and gentlemen, I think we found that tonight. Shout out to Jonathan Kaminga, love you, but you seem to always be inconsistent. Shout out to Moses Moody, love you. You're always impactful when you're in the game, but the real key to unlock another championship for this Golden State Warriors team this year is Brandon Podzimski. Now listen, now we know Steve Kerr is infamous for not playing the kids, but everything changes this year. Jordan Poole is gone, and you have failed to replace him with another dynamic shot creator, and I think tonight we found his replacement. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with Brandon, he grew up in Muskego, Wisconsin, and spent his freshman year of college at Illinois before transferring to Santa Clara where he proved to be one of the most efficient players in all of college basketball and clearly tonight we seen that on display. The guy is a smart basketball player and fits seamlessly with what the Warriors like to do. He thrives at playing a fast pace and despite being 6'5", he's quick enough to blow by his defender in the half court and don't be fooled, he does not have a thin frame for a rookie so he does not shy away from contact and unlike Jordan Poole what impresses me with Brandon Pazimski is not only is he a willing passer but his shot selection he is really decisive with the shots he takes but that does not mean he's afraid to get them shots up because he did lead the Warriors in shot attempts but against the number one defense in the entire league Brandon Pazimski had 23 points on 9 of 18 from the field and 37% from 3 in his first game where he got some legit minute and guys I didn't even tell you the best part of his game this guy is a phenomenal rebounder at the guard position I'm talking Russell Westbrook s in college he had averaged eight rebounds and he brought that same mentality to the league as in this game he had seven rebounds he crashes the boards as if he was 6'9 and that is huge for a Golden State Warriors team that plays so small Steve Kerr has been begging guys like Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kaminga to crash the boards now you have a guy and B pod that has that in his game naturally that's such a luxury I truly believe we will see more big games out of Brandon going forward and let's be honest he may be the successor to Steph Curry once he decides to hang it up but before we get too ahead of ourselves let me know what you think of Brandon Pazimski let me know in the comments make sure to hit the like button subscribe and turn on post notifications to not miss a single video and I'll see y'all next video